Hello everyone, I'm Manga Kid here to do my August pickups video. And before I get into the August stuff, there was another pile of books that I completely forgot to show last month because I had so much stuff that it got lost behind all the other stuff. Um, so this is actually the most exciting stuff I got last month that I was that I had saved specifically for last and then completely forgot to show. So we'll start with that. Um, basically, I bought. I believe it was Jin Graves. Um, I had seen him do a quick review video about Wolf. Uh, this is by Shige Nakamura. And I believe, I don't know if it's Jen or Gen Publishing. It's a small kind of, I guess, indie publisher that publishes um, some lesser known manga, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I bought Wolf because it sounded intriguing to me. This is about a boxer. Or a guy who goes to look for his father who's a who's a professional boxer and so he gets into boxing um, to face his father it was really really good I really enjoyed it and um, decided to pick up everything else that I could by the same publisher because I figured um, you know if they're publishing something cool like this maybe some of the other stuff they're publishing is pretty cool as well so I bought one is enough this is like a just a yaoi um, short manga it was okay wasn't great this is my least favorite of the things i bought from this publisher um i wasn't expecting too much from it though honestly about this i had had my eye on this for well over a year at this point i had ever it always kept coming up in my recommended stuff and finally I decided whatever i'll just buy it um it was okay it wasn't great the art's not great the story's not great um but i have it in my collection of now all of this publisher's stuff that i could get my hands on um then I bought Soriko. Uh, this is a very short little slice of life about this woman um, who's just kind of going through life. She doesn't. She keeps kind of going from job to job, doesn't know what's going on, what to do with her life. I loved this. Um, this was great. It is exactly what I thought it was going to be. Super slice of lifey, um, very slow paced. Uh, the art is awesome. I, I really, really love this. If you can find this for a decent enough price, it is very short, um, but definitely really enjoyed it. The other thing from uh, Gen or Jen Publishing, the last thing I got from them uh, was Alive. This is short stories by um, Taguchi Hajime. Uh, these are all quite dark. They're very um, kind of, a lot of them are sexual, a lot of them deal with uh, suicidal kind of stuff. Um, the art I really, really love. Let me see if I can find some. It's just, this is right up my alley. I love short story collections and I love really, really dark, um, twisted stuff. Um, so this was right up my alley. Everything I hoped it would be. This one's quite thick. Um, so definitely, all in all, buying um, everything that Chapters had um, of, of Gen publishing stuff, um, I mean, three out of four of the titles I bought, I absolutely loved. So, I mean, I got one, one dud, uh, and that was one is enough. But, uh, yeah, other than that, really, really good. And then the other thing I bought uh, was uh, Garden by uh, Yuichi Yokoyama. This is Picture Box, I guess, is the publisher of this. This is a gorgeous publication. Have not read this yet. Um, as you can see, the art is super different. Um, I believe I'd seen, I think his Manga Hoarder has stuff by Yuichi Yokoyama. Um, and that's where I had originally seen it all. Um, but I bought Iceland originally. I read it. I liked it. Um, not a lot of dialogue, just a lot of really art artsy kind of stuff um, but then I bought Garden as well. Um, couldn't get my hands on World Map Room unfortunately um, but hopefully in the future I will get that one. Um, Iceland is super short so you're kind of paying a lot for a very very small volume um, but it's a it's a retrofit retrofit comics or something I guess is the publisher I'm not sure um, but yeah Really enjoyed Iceland, so I'm assuming I'm going to enjoy Garden as well. So that's the stuff I got last month that I forgot to show. I'm going to start off quickly with stuff that is not necessarily manga, 
uh, but but related. Um, I found Bacano or Bacano or however you pronounce it. Uh, the anime series, the entire one, um, entire series, anime classics edition. Um, this is out of print now. Uh, very hard to find. Um, or at least that's what I can kind of gather from it. I almost bought this about five or six years ago. Uh, maybe six or seven years ago. Uh, for full price. It would have been like 60 bucks in Canada. Um, but I didn't buy it that day. And I love this anime. Uh, so I found it for $10.99 at The Beat Goes On. Which is a Canadian used um, CD and, and DVD uh, store. Um, I don't know why they had it that cheap. Usually they're pretty good about researching and, and pricing things according to their value. Um, or if they're out of print, they're pretty high priced. But for some reason, this was $10.99. I snatched it up. It was in very, very good condition. And I'm enjoying rewatching it. Um, so super stoked to have uh, Bacano or Bacano now. I also bought, couldn't help myself, had to once I knew this existed, I bought the Best of Bishonen art book. Um, yeah. <laughs> I saw this thing existed. I couldn't say no. And it went on sale and I bought it. So I will definitely make a video about this separately. Um, this is awesome. I love this. This is just a, a book of very, very pretty boys. Um, very nice art. I'm not one for art books. I do not buy art books, but I could not not buy this one. So I bought that. And the other thing I found at uh, Goodwill, actually, basic Japanese through comics. Um, I bought this. I'm not necessarily learning Japanese or anything, um, but I bought this because I thought it was interesting. It's got some... Uh, it, it's exactly what it says it is. It's teaching you basic Japanese through manga. Um, and so I bought it because it has actual like manga panels in it. It gives you pronunciation, it gives you um, like writing, pronouncing, um, politeness, lessons. Um, yeah, it's just cool and it's cool to see different manga. Um, and it does tell you what the manga is and it does tell you a bit about the scene and what's going on in it. Um, I just thought it was cool and I'm having fun. I'm reading this before bed. I read a lesson every night before bed and I'm just enjoying it. I paid three dollars for it. so. Um, it's just fun. I, I wouldn't have bought it full price, but, but I found it used and I figured why not. Um, next I will go to a series that I completed this month. So first up, Sweet Blue Flowers, Volume 4. This, these are the two-in-one omnibuses by Viz. Um, Takako Shimura, one of my all-time favorite, um, mangaka because of Wandering Sun. Uh, I won't go into my rant about how Wandering Sun is not completed here, but anyway... Uh, Sweet Blue Flowers. I've watched the anime in the past. Haven't read the manga yet. I wanted to wait till I had all of it. Now I do, so I can start it and hopefully enjoy it. Next, super stoked to find the rest of Othello. I found three volumes of Othello at Goodwill last year or something, or earlier this year. Um, and then I went back and they had all seven of them, so I bought the ones I was missing. So I got volume one, volume four volume 6, and volume 7. So that is complete. I have read this. It was uh, it was pretty good. Uh, if you want me to do a video about it, about my impressions of it, little review of it, let me know. I probably will anyway, but I might make it faster if somebody is actually interested in watching it um, and hearing my thoughts about it. But yeah, finally have all of Othello. This is a Del Rey um, series, so it is out of print. Um, but I did I did enjoy it. Glad to have all of it. Next, uh, if you watched last month's haul, you know I got volumes 1 to 3 of My Girlfriend is a Geek um, from some guy who sold them to me for a dollar each. So there was a Yen Press sale on chapters, so I decided to pick up the final two. So I got four and five. Um, these are quite thin, unfortunately, but this is exactly what it sounds like. This guy's girlfriend is a Fujoshi otaku, and he's just dealing with life, living with her. Um, it's quite funny. Haven't read these two volumes yet, but I have read volumes one to three. Um, I think I read volume three yesterday, actually, so I'll definitely finish this soon and probably do a, a video about it um, once I'm done. But yeah, glad to have the rest of that. And then, slowly but surely, the rest of Sundome. Um, I can't open these up, obviously. You can probably tell from the cover, but this is volume one. 
uh, volume six and volume eight. So that is all of it. I now own all of Sandome. Haven't read it yet. Um, yeah, I will absolutely make a video about this once I have read it, but I have not read it yet, so uh, no thoughts as of yet. And again, finally, the end of Scum's Wish. Um, these are so expensive in Canada. They're like nineteen fifty each, and these are just single volumes. They're yen press, of course, um, but they're the larger trim size, so they charge $20 a volume, which I do not pay that much for. These. Um, so I had to wait till all of them went on sale before I could even buy any of them. Um, but yes, finally, Scum's Wish is done. Uh, I know there is a spin-off series, and I am fairly certain Yen Press is going to pick it up. I do not care to get it anytime soon. I am. I just. It's too expensive, and I'm happy with the ending of this. I did finish it. I will be making a video on it. I had watched the anime, so I knew how it was going to end anyway. But. I love the covers, the art, I love this art, and that is most of the reason why I love this story, is because of the art, however, I did enjoy the story, I will make a video about this, so stay tuned for that. And I did get the rest of Bunny Drop, so I filled in the volumes I was missing, so I got volume 3, 4, um, 7, 9, and then the short story collection at the end, volume 10. I am on volume 4, I believe, um, reading-wise. I do like Funny Drop. I'd watched the anime, loved the anime. I know that this goes in a different direction than the anime because it goes beyond her childhood. Um, this, if you don't know, is about a young girl who is the Ill illegitimate child of this man's grandfather. Um, so he is the only family member who takes her in when the grandfather dies, and uh, yeah, so he kind of raises her and whatever. Um, it is a Jose title. Um, I am enjoying it so far. Next on to stuff that is just continuing. Um, I got My Boy, Volume 2. Finally, Chapters got it back in stock and then had it for a decent price, so I bought that. I think I've read this one already. Um, can't wait for volume three. This is going in a direction still that is okay with me. Um, art is still pretty great, and I really am enjoying this title. I also got Devil's Line, volume 11. I have not finished this one yet. I've only read the beginning. Um, but, yeah, really, really loving Devil's Line. If you haven't read Devil's Line yet, it is a great romance with a lot of action and supernatural stuff thrown in there as well. Next, I Am a Hero, Volume 7. These are Omnibuses 2 and 1s by Dark Horse. Um, great, 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 great zombie apocalypse. I have read this volume already. Can't wait for the next one. Um, super, super excited for it. Um, this is always a great title. Um, really leaves you on the edge of your seat. Girl from the Other Side, Volume 4. Another really, really great title. This is Seven Seas. Um, I buy these. These are quite expensive in Canada. They're like $15 each or something, um, and I can't afford that, so I wait till they're really, really cheap. Um, so I'm slowly but surely. I know I'm behind. I don't know if there's five or six out now, but I know I'm behind. Um, I did read this. I loved it. Can't wait for the next one, but slow, slow pickup for me. Bloom Into You, Volume 5. Um, haven't read this one yet. I'm just kind of waiting because I know that the release schedule is a bit slow on these, so um, I'm not in the mood to read it right now, so I haven't read it yet, but I do really like Bloom Into You, um, and I'm excited to read this when I'm in the mood to. Another Fury series, After Hours, Volume 2. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is a three-volume series is what I read somewhere. I do have Volume 3 pre-ordered, um, so when that comes, I... We'll be happy to finish the series. I am a, less than halfway through this volume. Again, not really in the mood for um, Yuri Romance right now, so I'm not super fast at getting through these, but super stoked about this one because this one's about adult females rather than teenagers, um, and I really enjoyed Volume 1. So, Waiting for Spring, Volume 7. Beautiful color. The spines look awesome together. 
Um, this is a generic shoujo about this girl um, and this basketball team. Um, yeah, I like it. I really like it. I haven't read this one yet, um, but yeah, this is one I, I, I really enjoy as far as new generic shoujo manga goes. Um, Bungo Stray Dogs, Volume 7. Just another one. I think I've only read the first volume. I did watch the anime, loved the anime, which is why I wanted to pick up the manga. Um, yeah, it's a fun action with really zany characters, um, dark, twisted, gory, but while still remaining really cool and uh, and just fun characters. It kind of reminds me of Soul Eater in that way, um, that there's a lot of humor, but also a lot of action and, and stuff like that to keep you interested. Then we got Arakawa Under the Bridge, Volume 4. I love this cover. I love this cover. It's so cute. Um, yeah, in the back as well with all the all the, girl, the girls from Under the Bridge. Um, fun, zany, wacky. I've gone on about this series before. Definitely just check it out if you like comedy series. Um, there's a bit of romance. Very zany, strange, bizarre characters. Short, very short chapters. Um, kind of episodic, but also still continuing on. Beautiful um, color pages. Let me find some in the middle here. Um, really, really beautifully done color pages um, in all of the volumes so far. So definitely check out Arakawa Under the Bridge. Tokyo Ghoul Re, Volume 6. Uh, I haven't read this one yet. Just kind of saving them up. I did read up to Volume 5, so I this is the only one I haven't read yet, but yeah. Um, Burakemon. That's not the one I'm supposed to have. Volume 3 is what I'm supposed to have. Um, there it is. Okay. I'm on Volume 4. I bought Volume 3. Um, yeah. If you watch my haul, I don't know if it was last month or whatever, I ordered all 15 volumes of Barakemon that were out. And they couldn't send me Volume 3 because it was on back order, so I was missing it. I bought this from Chapters when it went on sale. Happy to have it now because I can actually read Barakemon, and I'm on Volume 4, as you just saw. Um, Welcome to the Ballroom, Volume 7. I am buying these sporadically and not in order as they go on sale. This one was super cheap, so I bought it. Um, I watched a bit of the anime. I know I'm going to like it, but I just want to get all of them before I even bother to try reading it. Then, super duper excited, Aka or uh, 13 Territory Inspection Department um, by Natsume Ono. This is volumes 3 and 4. And I believe I have pre ordered every volume now. So I think that I am, like, I'll have all of them once they all come out, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, I have not read this yet. I watched the anime. One of my favorites. Really, really loved it. I know I'm going to love this. Um, cannot wait to have all of it so I can read it. This is a political drama, but also slice of life, kind of, um, about, where did he go? This guy here, um, he inspects the different uh, departments, government departments at each of the 13 territories. Um, and it's like a political conspiracy kind of thing. It is awesome. Highly recommend it. Then, we got another really, really, really great series, Volumes 3 and 4 of Silver Spoon. Fun farm slice of life. This kid goes to a farming high school. He's from the city, and he knows nothing about farming. He thinks it's going to be super easy, which is why he decides to go there. Um, he was wrong. It is a lot of work, obviously, if you know anything about farming um, and living in the country. It is so funny. The characters are awesome. The There's a lot of... I remember correctly there's quite a bit of dialogue um a lot going on it's so much fun it's so charming by the author that did uh full metal alchemist um super 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 great series highly recommend it we got tokyo terroreba girls volume two haven't read it yet this is by the author that does princess jellyfish this is about a girl who by the time she turns 30 or by the time the tokyo olympics comes she wants to be married i think um, or at least engaged. Uh, so it's a Jose title. Really, really great. Next, uh, Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight, volumes 3, 4, and 5. 
Um, very funny shoujo series. Absolutely love this. If you like shoujo, check this out. It is hilarious. Um, one of the funniest things I think I've read this year. Um, so super stoked to have more. I know I'm behind, but these again, they're quite expensive in Canada, more than I want to pay. So, um, or more than I'm able to pay, um, for a single volume. So I have to wait till they go on sale before I can buy them. And these are the ones that were on sale. So I bought them. Then we got Wotakoi Love is Hard for Otaku Volume 2. Uh, these are two-in-ones, even though they're slightly thin, because they're, I guess in Japan, they're quite thin volumes to begin with. Um, but yeah, these are very, again, very funny. I haven't read this one yet, but I read the first volume, first omnibus volume. Um, very, very good. This is about, this is a workplace uh, Jose title about a bunch of otaku and um, there's two couples obviously these two and then the main couple back here um, and it's just charming it's funny it's it's good definitely recommend it if you like Jose stuff then volume two of please tell me Galco chan I only intended to buy volume one um, I enjoyed volume one immensely this is something fun that I read before bed because um, it has like a question at the top and then the the scenario answers the question for each character um, full color beautiful um, I really just wanted the next volume so I could read some more before bed um, these are again quite expensive they're quite thin but because it's full color it's seven C's and it's a really nice quality book it is worth the money it's just um, I can't afford to buy all of them at once so uh, yeah very fun if you like kind of situational comedy about girls in high school um kind of raunchy not too bad but a little bit um it's quite good then we got dead dead demons D -d 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 destruction by inio asano this is volume two these are so thin i'm really disappointed yen or not yen press sorry uh viz wants like 20 almost 20 dollars or 19.99 i think is what this is in canada for this tiny volume um, I know it's in Asano, I know this is good quality, but I just, like, that's a lot of money for something this thin. Um, so that's disappointing, but I am enjoying it. I did pre-order the next two, um, but yeah, it's, that's a lot of money for something this small. <laughs> then on to new stuff I picked up. Same day I found Othello at Goodwill, I found Shugo Chara-chan, Volume 1. Um, these are like, I believe they're all four panel comics about the little guardian characters from Shugo Chara, um, which I really love that series. And I did know about this, I think this is four volumes long. Um, it was like $2, it was $2, and I just bought it, because why not? Then, finally, Neo Parasite M. These are short stories set in the parasite universe um, by a bunch of different mangaka um, I loved this I loved Neo Parasite F uh, which was more shoujo based stories this one's more like action but there are some actual there are some romance esque stories in this one too um, loved this I recognized a few of the authors um, and I just I highly recommend these Neo Parasite books if you do like Parasite and you like short story collections because these are great. Really, really enjoyed that. Finally bought Helter Skelter Fashion Unfriendly, still in plastic as you can see. I read this from the library um, a while ago. Loved it. I own Pink by uh, was Kyoko Okazaki um, as well and loved it. And I'd been waiting for Helter Skelter to go down in price. And I got this for like 10 bucks off chapters because they had a... Uh, vertical sale. So super glad I waited because that was better than paying the 18 or $19 um, that they wanted for this. But yeah, I really, really love this series. I believe I've done a video on it somewhere on my channel. Um, so look out for that if you are interested in Helter Skelter Fashion Unfriendly. Then I bought Dissolving Classroom by Junji Ito. This is disgusting, as you can see. Um, it's about these siblings and it is gross, as Junji Ito's stuff typically is. I, I heard a lot of people say this was okay and they didn't like it. I loved it. Um, I really, really loved it. Um, yeah, not much to say about it, but 
if you like Junji Ito, then definitely pick this one up. Then I got Garden of Words as well as 5 centimeters per second. Um, I've wanted these for a while. I think now I have every manga version of Makoto Shinkai's films now. I think I do. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain I do. Um, yeah, I read Garden of Words. It was good. Haven't read 5 centimeters per second yet, um, but looking forward to it. I have seen all the movies and whatnot, but yeah. Go for it, Nakamura. This is a um, Shonen Eye. I don't think it's a Yaoi because I don't think there's any explicitness in here. Um, Seven Seas has put this out. This is looks like it's going to be really, really funny. Um, it's kind of got like an old manga style. Um, I'm excited to read this. It looks like it's...